Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a gold plated style text today. Um, it's sort of pimp looking. Anyway, start off, file, new. And you can make it any size you want. But for this video, I made mine 640 by 480. As you can see, just type away. Okay. Um, yeah, just waiting for that to load up. And I don't know why it's going with the green lines, but just ignore them. Anyway, there's our new uh, document. Now you want to resize it and fill the background with black. So you get the fill tool, hit D on your keyboard to get black in the foreground, white in the background. Now you want to make a new layer and add a text layer. Now I'm gonna write go uh, sorry gold, but um, you can write anything you want. And the font I use is Times New Roman bold, and you can use any font you want as well. It pretty much works the same. I just use that because I think it looks best. At the moment you can't see it because I wrote it in black and I'm going to change that to white after I write gold so you can see just highlight that and change it to white and ok now that font isn't the font I used that was called Beast Machines this is the one I'm going to use is Times New Roman and I'm just finding that now there it is sit back and go to bold now you want to change the size to however big you want mine's at 60 and you want to hit the OK. Now you move that to the middle and you have to resize the uh, font uh, so you have to press Ctrl and T hold Shift and Alt while you hold, drag the corner so it keeps it proportionate that looks pretty good Now you want to duplicate that layer and go to effects on the copied version. And you want to add a gradient overlay. Now you want to change the color and the blend mode. So in the blend mode you want to set you want to change the color, sorry, to a light gold. Um, mine is at 247 one seven three no two four seven two three eight and one seven three as you can that's the color I used um, you can pretty much use any color you want you have to make a light gold version that, that looks pretty good and the second color you want to make a slightly darker gold the color I used is one nine three one seven two and eighty one Now you see sort of a dark gold coming in, and that's the sort of color you want. And you want to hit OK. And now you want to change the style to reflected, reflected. Sorry. And um, now you can see what it looks like. It already looks like it's gradienting, and it looks good at the moment. Now you want to bevel and emboss it. And now you want to select this the technique of chisel hard on your inner bevel and now you want to change the gloss contour to that one I don't know what it's called, you want to change it to that and you want to tick anti-aliased on and now you have to change the size I find it works best with 16 you have to change it so that it makes the gap in the middle not so big or really really tiny 16 pixels is what I use mine and the depth I change it as well to 171 and you have to check contour as well so that it contours it and now you want to go to 
inner glow and first you want to change the start, uh, thingy, the blend mode to multiply and then you want to change the opacity to 50 the color is to be changed to 232 128 and 31 um, that's the color I used you can experiment with this and find your own but this is the color I used and now you want to change the size to five pi 15 pixels even sorry 15 and that's what it looks like at the moment it's pretty goldy already but we can make it better now you want to go on the original text layer and you want to go to stroke and now you want to add a stroke to that and it can be any size between 3 and 5 3 looks a bit small on this picture in my opinion that's 3 5 looks way too big so I set mine to 4 um, yeah sorry that's me clicking my knuckles <laughs> um, now you want to set the type to gradient and you want to set the same two colors as earlier if you've forgotten them the colors were 247 238 and 173 for the first color that light one okay and now you click on the little boxes on the bottom and now you change that to the darker version of 193 172 and 81 and that makes the darker yellow or darker gold whatever you want to call it hit ok and you want to change that to reflected as well that's what I'm doing now reflected and you want to um, yeah that's what it looks like at the moment now you want to go to bevel and emboss now you want to change the style to stroke emboss and change the um, technique to chisel hard um, now you want to set the depth sorry the depth to 201 the size to 5 I know it's already set to 5 but save it and then you want to set the gloss contour to the one you used before which is that spiky one and check anti-aliased again now you want to check contour on the sidebar and now you want to go to outer glow and set the opacity to 50 which is coming up now 50% opacity the size to 29 pixels which should just change now and the color you want to click on the color box and you want to change it to 183, 145 and one and 17 that's what I used the, in here I start getting a bit confused and I start uh, editing that color really weirdly also check out while I'm doing this check out JLWK666 he's a great tap maker and he's a great just a great person in general he's free to help anybody so um, check him out on www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash JLWK666 <sighs> and I think I finally decided that that's the color I'm going to use and I'm going to hit OK and that's what it looks like now and that looks pretty good now you want to make a new layer and we're going to add a sparklish effect so we want to go to our brush tool change the brush pack to assorted brushes which you'll find there and when it asks you is it ok or a pen doesn't make a difference and choose the cross hatch brush the one with a little cross choose a color from the lightest point in your picture I chose one from the O or the G they're pretty light and you go to the paint brush again and you can start just painting in the brush it just sort of makes it look better so you can see now I'm just dotting them around to make them look slightly shiny you can change the size and experiment with sizes and opacities I changed the opacity of the layer to 50% by the way and you can animate that as well to make the sparkles like change their places and stuff 
but for the sake of simplicity I decided not to so yeah there it is I'm gonna change the uh, now I'm gonna make a new layer sorry and I'm gonna hide the background and hit image apply image and leave those settings and hit OK and that will um, make it so you have basically a rendered version of your original so you can just drag that and drop that in anything you want thanks for listening this was in